Blaise Pascal, a French physician, noted that the pressure in a fluid depends upon the depth of the fluid and has nothing to do with the shape of the fluid's container. He also discovered that any change in pressure applied at any point on a confined fluid is transmitted undiminished throughout the fluid, a fact that is known as Pascal's principle. When fluids are used in machines to multiply forces, Pascal's principle is being applied. In a common hydraulic system, a fluid is confined to two connecting chambers, as shown here. Each chamber has a piston that is free to move, and the pistons have different surface areas. If a force, F1, is exerted on the first piston with a surface area of A1, the pressure, P1, exerted on the fluid can be determined by using the equation shown here. This equation is simply the definition of pressure. Pressure equals the force per unit area. Pressure exerted by the fluid on the second piston with surface area A2 can also be determined. According to Pascal's principle, pressure is transmitted without change throughout a fluid, so pressure P2 is equal in value to P1. By comparing the equations for the two pressures, we arrive at the equation as shown here. Thus, the force exerted by the second piston is equal to the force exerted by the first piston, multiplied by the ratio of the area of the second piston to the area of the first piston.